The CAI passage, if you didn't know, it stands for the, the program for arterial signal synchronization and travel guidance. So pretty much we do two big things. We coordinate signals so they can move faster and traffic can move better. And also we work out travel guidance, which means we get a lot of information in here, we give it out to the public. One of the things you notice right away are the cameras. We have about 365 cameras throughout the county. Uh, they are traffic monitoring cameras, so they are not recorded. That's one of the big things that people ask a lot. And these cameras are we're allowed, you can view them, spin them around, you can zoom about a half mile, it's almost a mile down, down the road. Obviously a big thing for us is knowing if there's any unusual impact on the roadway. So crashes, any debris, stalls, road work, um, all of that slows down traffic. So what we try to do is get all that information through various means and then put that out to the public. We have a website, lakecountypassage.com. We have a Twitter. We have uh, smartphone applications. We have a high rate advisory radio station, 1620 AM. And then we also have email notification system. So if you are ever interested in that, you can check that out from our website. So a couple of ways we get that information in. We are connected to almost all the police departments in Lake County. What we get from them is computer-aided dispatch information, so CAD data. So when an event comes into our system from CAD, um, it'll give us an idea of where the location is, and then it'll give us some details in the notes about uh, what kind of lanes are being blocked. Um, it, once an event comes in via CAD, we usually look on a camera to see if we can confirm uh, where, what's happening at that location before we put it out on the roadway. This is the, uh, our traffic signal system. So this is our, what they call a central signal system. Um, right now, there are about 740 traffic signals in Lake County. So of those 740, we are connected to 590 of them. We have the ability to make signal timing changes on the fly. Where that becomes helpful is in a situation where there is road work or there is a crash, and we're trying to help divert traffic around that unusual traffic backup. So being able to make those signal timing changes on the fly gives us the ability to help traffic move better. 